A group of Catholic military chaplains here Friday led a host of dignitaries and tens of mourners in paying their last respects to their departed counterpart at the defense headquarters in the capital Nairobi. Kwangu na kwa wengine ni shujaa kwa kazi ambao hametufanya. Kama muliangalia hatua Somalia, kazi ambao lifanya. Akiwa katika makanisa yetu ndani ya jeshi, kuna kazi ambao nafanya. Na kila mahali, anatupatia mola. Kwanza jimbo la kijeshi, milita ordinariet, tumempoteza moja wetu, ndugi yetu. Pia katika uh, uh, Kenya Defense Forces, tumempoteza uh, officer ambaye ni wabidi, ambaye mejitolea kuhudumia inchi yake. Yo basi kama kanisa na kama uh, Kenya Defense Forces, tunomboleza kifo cha padri wetu na tunomba mungu wa mleaze pali pema poponi. Led by military ordinary in Kenya Apostolic Administrator Colonel Father Kituto Maswili, the late Lieutenant Colonel Father George Macau was eulogized as a selfless man who dedicated his time, resources and life for the sake of the country. I have lost a friend, a person that uh, was also a source, a source of encouragement to me, a colleague, one I can say he was very, very close to me and always wanting to know my whereabouts, especially in the war front. I felt even taken care of just by father being around. I Padri Mwenye Mwelekeo, Padri Ambaye Anatuongoza Sisi Vema, Hasa Katika Mambo Yakiroho. Donyesha ya kiwango zaidi cha wito kwa sababu kila wakata likuwa tayari kwa kazi. Na wakuna wakati ambapo ale ulizo kufanya kazi fulani ya kawa anauliza maswali. Halikuwa anauliza sana sana ni oniondoke lini, nifike pali pali siku gani. So ndiyo mana alikuwa tofauti. Sote kama mapadri tunajitolea ni wito, lakini yeye natupachengamoto atasisi kama mapadri baadhi yetu kwa jinsi ambavya alitolea kwa kazi yake. Missions getting feeling there is, there is somebody talking to them who is giving them hope in life. You would actually see the patients getting, even waking up from their beds, and the nurses and the doctors will tell us, hey, um, gonjwa, ajakua atakika chini. But you see that he really had that feeling, I would touch with the patients. Congregants who attended the service walked down memory lane of his last sermon. Last three weeks he has been preaching about transition from this world to the other world in the kingdom of God. And the very Sunday he preached to us to be tunyenyeke kwa maisha. Kwa yale yote tunapitia tunyenyeke. As he took time to take us through his personal uh, feelings about reconciliation and uh, He's been one of uh, the best entertaining and encouraging uh, priests. The late Kano for the Macau was the first Kenyan military chaplain to go to war in Somalia under Operation Lindanji, which later became the African Union mission, Amisom. While accompanying the soldiers to war, he played a paramount role in the lives of those in service. He really showed his courage. He could read the soldiers, he was ahead of them and telling them to be ready for the battlefield and he was there with them, telling them, when you see me here, you know that God is with us. 2012, another peacekeeping peace, peace mission in Somalia and Father was there. Even if there was any challenge, Father was always more stronger than each one of us so that the soldier would not feel down because of uh, a sad experience or a challenging moment. So he was really a caring soldier, not just being a, 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 a priest in the battlefield. The late Macau would later receive a head of state commendation. Preparations for a second and final requiem mass are underway in Machakos County, he passed away on 28th August 2022. I miss Father for his compassion, love, kindness, because he took us all, he embraced all of us as his family. Kosa sana, kwa sababu ya mawaida na mafundisho ambayo 
mara kwa mara anatupa sisi kama walimu tuwe kielelezo na mfano kwa wakristu ambao sisi eh, tuna, tuna waongoza. He will be laid to rest at Cataloni Cemetery in the Catholic Diocese of Machakos on 6 September 2022. Reporting for Easy Friday, I'm Jackie Wambiru.